you know, it's just sad what's going on in Libya and what's going on all over the world. Nigerians, Nigerians as slaves. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, Nigeria has to be one of the richest countries in the world. And when I say that, I really mean it. I am talking human resources. I'm talking land mass. I'm talking mineral resources. You know, and I'm talking oil. Yet Nigerians are being sold as slaves. Now, these are people who've been sold a lie, who are taking off in the pursuit of happiness. They want a better life. So they're trying to get to Europe. They're trying to get to different destinations where they believe they're going to have a better life. I've always questioned it, you know. Um, many years ago when people would take off as illegal immigrants and maybe get a student visa, go to the UK and then become an illegal immigrant and stuff, I've never considered it worth it. Not even one little bit, because you're going to have to live and operate outside the system. And you can only get so far living that way. And one day, that system will catch up with you, and you could lose everything. But um, this is a tragedy of epic proportions. And what makes it even more sad is that we, back here in Nigeria, listen to the millions and billions of dollars looted, stolen, misappropriated, wasted, recurrent expenditure, and so on. How have we got it so wrong? How can you have so much and yet have so little? Is it a capacity thing? Look, I charge today's government to make this priority number one. Let Nigerians really, really feel the change and the dividends of democracy. It's imperative. 